Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my first ever series on the basics and this video is going to be regarding eyebrows, how I do mine personally, um, any tips and tricks that you guys can use will be in this video. So I'm really excited. But, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to achieve that bomb, fleeky eyebrow. So I'm just gonna share my thoughts regarding eyebrows and how to achieve that bomb ass on fleek eyebrow. I'm being too crazy. So to achieve that flawless Instagram brow that we all want for some reason. I enjoy doing my eyebrows just because I really don't have much. I still appreciate my brows but I have fun when I apply my brows. It's not always fun, it's kind of like ugh. I wish they would just stay there but they don't stay there unfortunately and it's just it's kind of a hassle to do them every day, but it's my favorite thing to do. Even though it's a hassle, it's my favorite thing to do. To achieve a dead bomb brow, I have a few products. I'm gonna just discuss them real quick. I have the NYX Micro Pencil. This is in the shade Brunette. It's just this really thin pencil that is perfect for creating the outline. And then I have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I don't like using this one as much, unfortunately. It's kind of like the Anastasia Brow Definer. It's just not really suitable for me because I have to basically draw on my eyebrows. So if you have a more fuller, thicker brow, this one is going to be more suited for you. I feel like I can still make it work. It's just more time consuming to use this product than the other products that I have just because I don't have as much brow hair. And then I have my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. This is my holy grail product. It's just freaking amazing. So what I do personally is I will create my outline with the NYX Micro Pencil. I prefer using the NYX Micro Pencil just because it's half the price of the Anastasia Brow Wiz and it's very similar quality and everything and it works just as great as the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So I'll first start my outline with this and then I take my pomade from Anastasia because this is just life in a pan. You call this a pan? I have less than half of it left but still have not hit pan and it's been over a year so this product really lasts a long time. It is only recommended that you keep it for six months. With this product a little goes a long way so even though it's passing its expiration date I still have it and I still use it every day. This is seriously my ride or die you guys. So what I do is I take whatever is left from the translucent powder off this brush and just kind of set my eyebrows with it just so it has some added texture to it when I'm drawing on my eyebrows so that the product has something to cling to. So now that we have that added texture, I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX Micro Pencil. This is in the shade Brunette. And we're just going to brush up the brows real quick. Put them in place. This eyebrow doesn't even have a tail. So frustrating. When I was in fourth grade, I was pogo sticking and the pogo stick didn't have the rubber part on the bottom for it to prevent from slipping. I pogoed on a fucking rock and I fell down and I got this little skull right here that created a fracture in my skull and all the kids were just standing there laughing at me while I was blacked out and they didn't ask for help or anything. I could have died, you guys. Not really. Not really, but you get what I'm saying. Like, if something happens, you need to go alert and parent. Don't just sit there and laugh. Worst case scenario, I could have died. But it's always good to make sure that you get a parent if something happens. I don't know, like, it took like 10 minutes maybe until someone actually went and told their parent that I'm not waking up and they went and come grabbed me. Someone went and got my dad and then my dad was just running. Didn't go to the hospital or anything and kind of like came back after my dad picked me up and started running me back to the house. Yeah, shout out to my dad for stitching up my wound. Oh yeah, that's my happy. So this is why I have no tail on this eyebrow. Funny story. Let's get back to what we came to this video to do, you guys. You guys came here to learn how to do some brows. <sighs> what is wrong with me getting off track? 
So like I said, we're going to comb out the eyebrows. We're going to map some dots and then we're going to connect the dots basically. You want to make sure that the beginning of your brow, my brows, they start right here at this point where my eyeball starts on both sides. Some people's brows will start right here where the nose contour would go. So some people will drag it out this far. I just stick with where my eyeball starts. The next dot we will place. So you're going to take your pencil. You're going to find the arch by putting that through your pupil basically so when you're mapping out the dot you want to make sure that it kind of just like covers your pupil and then you're going to sketch out that dot right there next one we're going to go ahead and find this arch so we're going to go ahead and take it go through the pupil and then right there is where the arch is going to be the next one is going to be where the tail is going to end so you're going to take your pencil take it to the end of your nose you're going to go up from your nose to the other end of your eye and then that's where your tail is going to be so mine's going to be right there. And you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Take it from the nose, the end of the eye, and that's where your eyebrow's going to end. Now we have our three dots. So start, arch, and the tail. So now that we have that done, we can start connecting the dots. So I start from the top first, connecting, and then I do from the bottom. You want to make sure that you have your elbow resting on something so that you have a steady hand when you're doing brows so that's as clean as possible. I also rest the palm of my hand against my chin so that my hand is more steady. So then I go ahead, start from first dot, then I draw a little that second dot and then we're going to do the other side so that to make sure that it's as symmetrical as we can get it so you just want to like do partial at a time so that you can make sure they're as even as possible to each other so we're going to go ahead and do this side now we're going to go from the second dot to the tail So now that we have the top line graphed out, we're going to go ahead and do underneath. So we're just going to brush up these hairs a little bit. So we're going to start here. We're going to bring it to the middle. And if it's kind of sloppy, it's okay because we're going to clean it up. And then we're going to take from here and bring it to here. So now that we have the tails connected, we're going to go ahead and make it so that everything swooshes, you know, nice swoosh. So we're going to go ahead. Now that I have everything connected, I'm going to go ahead and fill them in real quick and then clean up everything. So I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brow. And I'm going to take my E11 Angled Brow Brush from Morphe. So I'm just going to lightly take some product. You do not need a lot of product at all with the pomade because a little goes a long way. I'm not even kidding. But I like to start from the arch and then do the tail because that's where I'm going to have the most product. And then I'm going to feather it out as I go towards the center. Now that I have that brow nicely filled in, I'm just going to feather out the front just to kind of give it that gradient effect. And then we're going to do the other side. So I'm going to take some product and start from the arch. Brush through the front of the brow. Now that we have both of that done, we're going to go ahead and just kind of clean up underneath to sharpen up our lines a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX Wonder Brow Pencil. This is in the, in the shade Light. I think these are really amazing. I have them for my kit. I have medium and then I think I have a darker one possibly, but they're really amazing and I love using them. So we're just going to go ahead and go underneath and sharpen up that line. It's kind of like the concealer trick basically except it's like stick form. So I went ahead and added the Wonder Pencil to the top part of my brow as well. I did that off camera just because I was having a little bit of trouble doing it 
here. But we're gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer real quick, and then I'm gonna officially set my eyebrows. So we're just gonna do dragging motions to blend the concealer in. Alright, so you just want to make sure that the concealer is completely blended in and that your lines are as sharp as possible. And then you just want to brush out the front a little bit more. And then we're going to set them with some eyeshadow. You can use brow powder, eyeshadow, whichever they work the same to me. I just use an eyeshadow, so I'm going to be using the Charcoal Brown from MAC to set my eyebrows with. I'm just going to use this unknown angled brush. And we're just going to go and go. And then we're just going to comb through them one more time. And if they're a little too dark, just keep combing through them until they are the proper darkness that you want. So it just looks a little bit intense just because the contrast of the concealer with it. Um, so they are a little dramatic at the moment, but... Um, this is the completed brow tutorial on how I do my eyebrows. Um, they're usually not this intense, but this is the steps that I do take to achieve the brows that I do every day. Yeah, they're just a little more darker than I normally have them, but it's okay. It's all uh, for them being. I hope that you guys enjoyed this how-to on achieving that Instagram brow that you guys all want so bad. If you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see new videos every Sunday. And I am doing a giveaway as soon as I hit a thousand of you lovely beauties. There will be a giveaway. So who doesn't want to be entered into a giveaway? I sure would because it's going to be amazing.